Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are good and in the best of your health. Please remember that we all love you and miss you too much. So, I welcome you all to our third English online class. We are going to go through Unit 5, Lesson 25, page number 350 to 367. Now, I want you to think. You have studied from seed to plant. Now, I want all of you to dig deeper. Can you answer the essential question? How do plants grow and change? If you want to answer the first question, How do plants grow and change? You should go back to the lesson from seed to plant. You know that seed is the beginning of a plant. When you look up at a tree, it is hard to imagine that it was once a tiny seed. It was though. The seed was in the ground. Sunlight and rain helped it to grow. The tree was small at first, but then it grew and grew. After years of growing, it became a full-grown tree. When seeds fall from the tree, more trees will grow. This is the tree's life cycle. With this, you have answered how do plants grow and change. Now, let's move to the second question. How do graphic features help you understand the topic? Graphic features mean diagrams, pictures and charts. They help the reader to understand more about the text. Now, let's move on. Cause and effect. One event makes another happen. For example, if you eat unhealthy food, you will fall sick. So eating unhealthy food is the cause and you are getting sick is the result. So here in this picture, the cause is the plant getting sun and water and as a result, the growth of the plant. So you see, there is always an effect after the cause. Now we are done with recalling our lesson from seed to plant. So let's move to the question and answer part. No, no, don't worry. It's not a quiz. We will answer the questions together. Underline the correct answer. Number one, true or false. Seeds are all the same sizes and shapes. Is it true or false? Just think. Seeds. They are not same, you know. Some seeds are small, some are big. So it is false. Number two, pollination occurs when a grain of pollen from the stamen lands on the stigma of the same kind of flower or goes onto a bee. So of course, pollination happens not when a pollen goes onto a bee. It happens when a pollen lands on the stigma, the sticky part of the same kind of flower. Okay, now let's move to number three. How do bees help with pollination? They help by making honey or they carry pollen from one flower to another. So you know bees make honey, that's true. But the question here is how do they help with pollination? So, they help in pollination by carrying pollen. You know, pollination will only take place when a pollen moves from one flower to another. So, the correct answer is, they carry pollen from one flower to another. Number four, what can grow around the seed in a flower? So, around the seed, what can grow? A fruit or a new flower? Of course, a new not a new flower, of course a fruit. Number 5. Let's see number 5. What is the yellow powder that stamens make cold? So stamen is the part of a flower which makes yellow powder. And that yellow powder is called pollen. Of course it cannot be flower. The answer cannot be flower because they are not only in yellow color, they are in different colors. But pollen is yellow powder which 
stamens make so please remember the yellow powder that stamens make is called pollen number 6 what is the sticky part at the top of the pistil called just now i mentioned it it's called stigma note petal stigma what is petal the colorful part of the flower is called petal but stigma is the sticky part the pollen will always stick on the stigma okay now let's move to question number yes question number 7 what is germination very easy this is very easy what is germination when seed starts to grow or when seed is ready to be eaten so of course when seed starts to grow you know when the shoot starts coming out it is called germination number 8 what can help the seeds to spread so how do seeds disperse of course not by cars you know they won't sit in a car and travel from one place to another they are carried away by animals or water or humans but here we have two options cars and animals and the correct answer is animals very good so after 8 we have question number 9 which part of a flower do people usually eat so can you eat the stem maybe in some some instances but in some cases you might eat stem but the people usually eat fruit so fruit is the part of a flower which usually people eat number 10 what does the seed coat do do you remember the diagram of the seed there was food in between in the middle and the outer layer was called seed coat so seed coat what does it do it protects the seed or the other option given is it makes the seed wet but of course note the answer is it protects the seed okay now question number 11 my favorite question who is the author of the text who has written this text Gail Gibbons. I have told you so many times in our previous lesson, and I hope that by this time you remember this name by heart. Question number twelve: What is the genre of the lesson? Again, I have mentioned it many times in our previous lesson. So please remember, it is an informational text. It is not fiction. It is not a story. It's giving us information about plants. seeds flowers so it is an informational text now let's move to meanings i have solved this uh, for you because i know it's not that easy to memorize all the meanings but i want you to go through this again so that by the end of this lesson by the end of this unit by the end of this chapter you all know the meanings of these words so grain a single seed of a cereal pod shell soak dip soften to make less hard root part of a plant which attaches it to the ground shoot a young branch growing from the seed nutrition food tasty having good taste and at the last i want you to see this parts of a flower i have also labeled these parts i know they are not easy for you to remember but still try to remember these names pollen actually this is you cannot see the yellow color here because it is not colorful diagram but the yellow color grains on top of this anther is called pollen stamen sepal stem stigma the sticky part here on the top stigma pistil and ovules these are the different parts of a flower and with this we come to an end of our today's lesson i hope that it was easy and all of you enjoyed it i'll meet you again in our next lesson till then 
प्लीज टेक गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ स्टे हेल्दी एंड ईट हेल्दी वॉश योर हैंड्स ऑन डेली बेसिस ऑन आर्ली बेसिस एंड प्लीज ट्राई नोट टू लीव योर होम्स स्टे इन योर होम स्टे क्लीन स्टे सेफ एंड रिमेंबर दैट आई लव यू ऑल थैंक यू